So nobody knows how long they're going to live, but a good rule of thumb is to plan to age 90. And there's a difference between whether you're a man or a woman, so maybe if you're a woman you can start considering living to maybe age 92 and the men maybe around 88. If you have a family history where you know you're not going to live that long, then sure you can dial that back accordingly. The main variables that you have to think about when you're planning for your retirement is how much can I save? And most people say they can't save any more than they're currently saving. How aggressively can I invest it? And again, most people can't handle much more than what they're currently doing. When will I retire? And what will my lifestyle be when I retire? And so we're down to usually for most people those last two. And most people don't want to ever compromise their lifestyle in retirement, which then leads us to for most people, if you really want to find a way to make sure that you can be secure, you should work longer. To be really prudent as long as you can stand it, but I would say that um, a good a, a rule of thumb that I like to use is the, the year, the decade that you were born in should maybe be the uh, corresponding to the, the year that you retire. So if you're born in the 60s, you should maybe, maybe be 66. And if you were born in the 70s, you should consider working until you're 67 and so forth. When you think about how much money you actually will expect to be making when you are a retiree, a good rule of thumb is to aim for, let's say, about 50%. So if you were earning $60,000 a year while you were in the workforce, you should hopefully be able to make you know, at least $30,000 a year in, in retirement. Now that can come from a number of sources, whatever money you saved, but also your Canada Pension Plan money, your old age security money, any workplace pensions that you might have your lifestyle will be fairly similar because a lot of expenses will drop by the wayside. Hopefully you'll have had the children leave the house and you don't have to pay for them anymore and um, your, your home is hopefully paid for and you'll be in a lower tax bracket. So even though it sounds like it's a lot less money, um, it goes a lot further because of those factors.